what if powerful women would empower other women to lift their untapped potential? What would the world look like? Ladies, we have her profile. I wish so many women would go through this and discover themselves. An environment, a safe environment to be you. I believe that this will be the beginning of change in the way we think about each other as women because we need to first and foremost understand that we are one on the same team. On a hilltop outside of Lusaka, female bankers and female entrepreneurs come together to join a female leadership journey. We want to share our recipe for success. The main goal? Unlocking the potential of women and driving impact on female financial inclusion. Zambia has one of the highest percentages of female entrepreneurs on the African continent. But women do not get as much financial support as men do. Yes, I would love to grow my business and I need resources. I need money. But I fear going to the bank. Justina is one of six entrepreneurs attending the program. Listen to our dream. Sharing her fears and her dreams helps the bankers to better understand her needs. There is a lot of power that is untapped lying within women entrepreneur. If we don't take time to understand them, we will lose out. We will become irrelevant as banks. To create an enabling environment, every morning starts with yoga. You're using the muscles along the side of your body and breakfast sessions during which the participants reflect and share what shifted. So I realized I don't have to have a solution. And that was a big thing for me. I've done that for so long that maybe I just need to take a step back. Slowly, sisterhood grows amongst the participants. It is the first women-only banking event in the country. Who is afraid of failure? Afraid of failure. Failure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. To fail something new to most of the participants. The women first have to find out what it is if they're all together and what that force is, what that collective wisdom can create for them. Because everybody knows most women are the first in their company, in their sector, so they are not used to have a women-only surrounding. <laughs> I can actually be much more than I am right now. And what I take is the courage to go and explore that untapped potential in me. Listening is very important. And I've learned a lot on that. This sisterhood almost makes you feel like you have more to give beyond your job. To inspire the women on their journey, a special guest is sharing dinner with them. This is an excellent angle to give me the support that I need. This sisterhood is actually saying, keep going, Margaret. We are fully behind you. But you don't need to be the Minister of Finance to become a role model. Yeah, out of this program, you know, interacting with few ladies and hear someone telling you, you're brave, you, you're courageous. I'm like, oh. I can inspire someone to do something they've never thought of doing, and that was so encouraging to me. As sisters, the bankers visit the companies of the entrepreneurs and focus on the main issue of the week. How can they help these women with their growth ambition? Oh, please, so this is part of our storage. Justina makes porridge using locally farmed organic produce. Supermarkets have shown their interest, but due to lack of storage, her business remains small. The workspace is just clean. No, I'm so impressed. Oh, thank you. During this female leadership journey, bankers and entrepreneurs mutually work on a business plan. This is amazing. And you're sitting on a huge wealth generating factory. Thank you. And well done. Thank you. It's important for me 
to see that there's a woman out there who cares that I should grow. I believe female financial inclusion makes the world more complete. It includes women and men together because I believe men can learn a lot from females. And if every woman can have the back of the other woman, we are going to be able to achieve much. And that, that's what sisterhood is really about, caring about the next woman who will in turn care about you. So what I'm expecting is that each and every person, every woman, every banker that has come here will start thinking differently about women being included in the financial sector. We've invited you all here to become supporters and allies in serving the women's market. After four days of hard work, the female entrepreneurs and bankers pitched their plan in front of the entire Zambian financial ecosystem. The CEOs of the banks, the top of the Bank of Zambia, an expert panel, and the Minister of Finance herself. The banks without the SMEs were non-existent. We just need to find a way of working together. And I believe with your help, we can do this. So what I take from here is I need to get back on the drawing board and help out a sister to make a change for the women. I have potential that I've been sitting on waiting for someone to come and open it. But I've learned that I have the key to my growth. What I hope is that they really connect to their own ability and their own wisdom in order to be a future maker. That they feel they're not alone anymore. They feel empowered to go on with what they're doing and that there will be support. Not only from everybody who believes in them, but also from the financial sector here in Zambia. Yeah.